Hi everyone, so in this video we're going to prove the product rule for logarithms. So here x and y are positive numbers and b is a base, so it's positive and uh, it's not equal to 1. So let's go ahead and go through a, a quick proof of you know how, how do you verify this property. So we'll start by giving these names. I'm going to start by calling the first one m. So m is log base b of x and then I'll call the second one here n. So n is log base b of y. And then we're going to take each of these and convert these logarithmic equations into exponential ones. So here the base is b, so remember it's b to the m equals x. And so b to the m equals x. So b to the m equals x. Here would be b to the n equals y. b to the n equals y. So b to the n equals y. Okay, so we're trying to show something about the log base b of x times y. So the natural thing to do now is to multiply the x and the y. So let's do that. So if we look at x, y, that's going to be b to the m times b to the n. And then you can use properties of exponents because the bases are the same, you add the exponents. So it's b to the m plus n. All right, so now we'll take the log base b of both sides. This is where the magic happens. Watch this. This is beautiful. So log base b of x, y. That's exactly what's here, right? <laughs> it's an awesome problem. And this is equal to log base b of b to the m plus n. And you know from logarithm properties, these, these go away, right? So this is just going to be m plus n. But what's m plus n? m plus n is just log base b of x plus log base b of y. And that completes the proof, right? We started with, with this and we showed it's equal to this. There's various ways of simplifying this, by the way. Like if you like, you can use the power rule where you bring it down. Um, but just know that, you know, if you have log base b of b to the x, that's equal to x. So we're using that uh, in this problem. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.